All right, welcome to the uh, Grok 4 release here. Um, this is uh, the smartest AI in the world. We're going to show you exactly how and why. Um, and uh, it really is remarkable to see the advancement of artificial intelligence, how quickly it is uh, evolving. Um, I, I sometimes think, compare it to the growth of a, a human and how fast a human learns and gains conscious awareness and understanding. And AI is advancing just vastly faster than any human. Like Grok4, if, if given like the SAT, would get perfect SATs every time, even if it's never seen the, uh, the questions before. Um, and if even going beyond that to say like uh, graduate student exams like the GRE, uh, it will get near perfect results in in every discipline of uh, of education. So from the humanities to like languages, math, physics, engineering, pick anything. Uh, and we're talking about questions that it's never seen before. These are not on, not on the internet, and it's Grok4 is smarter than almost all graduate students. Uh, in all disciplines simultaneously. Like it's actually just important to appreciate the, like that's uh, really something. Like I guess the first part is like, we're, we're, in terms of the training, um, we're going from Grok 2 to Grok 3 uh, to Grok 4, we've essentially increased the training by an order of magnitude in each case. So it's uh, you know, 100 times more training than, than Grok 2. Um, and uh, and that, that's only going to increase. Um, so it's, uh, yeah, frankly, I mean, I don't know, in some ways a little terrifying. But uh, the, the growth of intelligence here is, is remarkable. Yes. It's important to realize there are two types of training compute. One is the pre-training compute. That's from GROW2 to GROW3. Um, but for, from GROW3 to GROW4, we're actually putting a lot of compute in reasoning in RL. Some of these things are just worth repeating. Like Grok4 is postgraduate, like PhD level in everything. Better than PhD, but like most PhDs would fail. So it's better that said, I mean, at least with respect to academic questions, it, it, I want to just emphasize this point. With respect to academic questions, Grok4 is better than PhD level in every subject, no exceptions. Um, and the, the, with the Grok4 Heavy, what, what it does is it spawns multiple agents in parallel, and uh, all of those agents do, do work independently, and then they compare their work, and they, they decide which one, like it's like a study group. Um, and it's, it's not as simple as a majority vote, because uh, often only one of the agents actually figures out the trick, or figures out the solution. Um, and, 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 but once they share the, the trick or, or, or figure out what, what the tr real nature of the problem is, they share that uh, solution with the other agents. Yeah. And then they compare, they essentially compare notes and then, and, and then yield, a, uh, yield an answer. Yeah. So that's, that's the, the heavy part of Grok4 yeah. is, is where we, you scale up the test time compute by roughly an order of magnitude, uh, have multiple agents uh, tackle the task, and then they compare their work and they, they put forward what they think is the best result. So uh, I guess one of the coolest things about uh, Grok4 is its ability to understand the world and to solve hard problems by leveraging tools like Tony discussed. And I think one kind of cool example of this, <clears throat> we asked it to generate a visualization of two black holes colliding. Um, and of course, you know, it took some, there are some liberties. It's, in many cases, actually pretty clear in its thinking trace about what these liberties are. Uh, for example, in order for it to actually be visible, you need to really exaggerate the, the scale of the, you know, the, uh, the, uh, the waves. And yeah, so here's like, you know, this kind of inaction. And we're also excited to introduce Eve a beautiful British voice who's capable of rich emotions. Aman, would you like to introduce Eve? Absolutely, yeah, let's get into the demo. Hey Eve, millions of people are watching us right now. Are you excited? 
Oh, I'm thrilled, really. It's like being on stage at the Old Vic with a sea of faces out there. Just imagine all those eyes and ears tuned in. It's a proper buzz, isn't it? What do you reckon we should chat about to keep this lot entertained? You know, we have a lot to talk about, but I'll be honest, I'm feeling a little nervous. Can you whisper something soothing to calm me down? Take a deep breath, love. You've got this. It's just you and me having a quiet chat, like we're tucked away in a cozy corner of a Yorkshire pub. The world's just a murmur out there. Feel that calm wash over you. Let's keep talking nice and easy. What's on your mind? You know what, I'm actually feeling quite relaxed to try this uh, something crazy. So can you give us an opera on uh, Diet Coke? Oh, an opera on Diet Coke. That's a riot. Picture this, a shimmering silver cannon glistening under stage lights. Oh, Diet Coke, thou elixir divine with bubbles that dance in a sparkling line. Thy crisp, cool kiss on lips so fine. O oh, aspartame, ambrosia, forever mine. How's that for a mad little aria? Do you need that? Want me to belt out another verse or switch up the tune? Okay, let's try switching it up and just start singing. Right then, let's have a go. Oh, silver can, you gleam in the light. Diet Coke, my heart's delight. Okay, I won't trust it. It's very, very poetic. Um, yeah, thank you. Feeling quite nice now. So, since the launch of the voice model, uh, we actually see the 2x faster end to end latency uh, in the last eight weeks. Five different voices, and also 10x the active user. So, Grok Voice is taking off. Um, all right, so enough of benchmarks uh, over here, right? So, what can Grok do, actually, uh, in the real world? So. Uh, we actually, uh, you know, contacted the folks from uh, uh, Endon Labs, uh, who, you know, were, you know, gracious enough to, you know, try to grow in the real world to run a business. Yeah, thanks for having us. So I'm Axel from Endon Labs, and I'm Lucas, and we tested Grok4 on Vending Bench. Vending Bench is an AI simulation of a business scenario. Uh, where we thought, what is the most simple business an AI could possibly run? And we thought vending machines. Uh, so in this scenario, the, the Grok and other models need to do stuff like uh, manage inventory, contract su contact suppliers, set prices. All of these things are super easy, and all of they like all the models can do them one by one. But when you do them over very long horizons, most models struggle. Uh, but we have a leaderboard, and there's a new number one. Yeah, so we got early access to the Grok4 API. Uh, we ran it on the vending bench, and we saw some really impressive results. So it uh, ranks uh, definitely at the number one spot. It's even double the net worth, which is the measure that we have on this event. So it's not about the percentage on a, uh, or a score you get, but it's more the dollar value in net worth that you generate. Yeah, so uh, the other thing, uh, we talked a lot about you know, having Grok to make games, uh, video games. Uh, so Danny is actually a uh, video game designer on X. So uh, you know, we mentioned, hey, who want to try out some uh, uh, Grok for uh, preview APIs uh, to make games? And Danny answered the call. Uh, so this was actually just made first person shooting game in a span of four hours. Uh, so uh, some of the actually, the unappreciated hardest problem of making video games is not necessarily encoding the core logic of the game, but actually go out, source all the assets, all the textures of files, and, and uh, you know, to create a, a visually appealing game. So one of the core aspects Grok4 does really well with all the tools out there is actually able to automate these like asset sourcing uh, capabilities. So the developers you can just focus on the core development itself rather than like you know so now you can run a you know entire game studios with game of one uh, with uh, per, like one person and then uh, you can have Grok4 to go out and source all those like asset developmenting tasks for you. Yeah. The, now the next step obviously is for Grok to uh, play be able to play the game. So it has to have very good video understanding. So it can play the games and interact with the games and actually. <coughs> assess what, whether a game is fun and, and, and actually have good judgment for whether a game is fun or not. Um, so with, the, with version seven of our foundation model, which finishes training this month, and then we'll go through post-training RL and whatnot, um, 
that, that will have excellent video understanding. Um, and with the, with the video understanding and, the, and improved tool use, for example, for video, for video games, you'd want to use you know, Unreal Engine or Unity or one of the, one of the, the main graphics engines, um, and then gen generate, the, uh, generate the art, uh, apply it to a 3D model, uh, and then create an executable that someone can run on a PC or, or a console or a, or a phone. Um, like we, we expect that to happen probably this year. Um, and if not this year, certainly next year. Yeah, just to recap, so in today's live stream, we introduced the most powerful, most intelligent AI models out there that can actually reason from the first principle using all the tools, do all the research, go on the journey for 10 minutes, come back with the, the most correct answer for you. Um, so it's kind of crazy to think about, just like four months ago, we had Grok 3, and now we already have Grok 4. And we're going to continue to accelerate as a company, XAI. We're going to be the fastest moving AGI companies out there. So what's coming next is that we're going to you know, continue developing the model that's not just you know, intelligent, smart, think for a really long time, spend a lot of compute, but having a model that actually both fast and smart is going to be the core focus. Right. So if you think about what are the applications out there that can really benefit from all those very intelligent, fast, and smart models, then coding is actually one of them.